Let's take a look here at network routes and route tables. And so a route table is a table of data stored in a router or network host that lists routes to next destinations. And the way I like to think of it is routes are the roads to the virtual network. Without them, uh, your data is just not gonna go anywhere. One thing uh, that confused me is because I'm, from a I'm used to using AWS. And when I used Azure, I launched a virtual machine and it was reaching the internet, but I couldn't find a route table for it. So I was confused, how does it know how to reach the internet? You need a route table. And the reason why it was doing that is because uh, Azure has some uh, system default uh, routes and uh, they already had a route to the internet for me that was already associated with my subnet. Um, and so the thing is, is that there is actually um, a service called route tables and you can type it up in the top of uh, your Azure portal there. But I couldn't find like this, this route table that was managed by Azure. And the reason why is that they just hide it from you. Um, and so they have these uh, default routes for you. So they have one to your virtual network, one to the internet, and then there's just some RFC ones here uh, for, uh, for a very specific use. Um, and these are not all the default routes. There's a few other ones. They don't really matter for us to know, but uh, if you um, turned on some uh, specific networking services, there's a few other ones that would uh, be applied. So let's talk about applying our own routes. Um, and so the idea here is those are called user-defined routes. So you could just create a route table and then assign it uh, to an actual subnet. And so one thing you need to know is that a route table can be assigned to multiple subnets, but a subnet can also have just one user-defined route table. And so the idea here is that if you want to override existing routes, you just create a, uh, a route um, and uh, it would just override the default one. All right, and so a good example of this would be, let's say you wanted to uh, make sure that no internet could reach your subnet, like you're making a private subnet. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to override that route to the internet and set the hop to none. So over here on the right-hand side, I'm just gonna call my route no internet, give it the same address prefix and then say none. And so that will override the original one. Now talking about hops for a moment, uh, there's a few different options here. And again, a hop just says where to go. Um, so you have a few there, virtual network gateway, virtual network internet, virtual appliance, or none. And those are pretty um, straightforward. The only one that uh, needs a little bit clarity is virtual appliance. So virtual appliance is just a virtual machine that runs a network application. So an example of a network application could just be a firewall. And in this hop type, you're gonna have to provide that private IP address to that virtual machine. So there you go.